Hello Scholar Academy teachers! This video will show you how to import a Google Slide into a Smart Notebook. Let's get started. On your lesson page, you'll scroll until you see your Google Slides link. When you click on the Google Slides link, it will open in a new tab. On that tab, you'll see the slides, and each slide, it's important to understand this format, contains different pieces of information. This slide was composed of a background. We have these different text boxes. We have a clickable link. We even have some images. These images are grouped together with all of this other stuff. Knowing how that slide is built is important because it does change how we might choose to import it into Smart Notebook. You can scroll through and see all of these beautiful images, these great backgrounds. The formatting is really nice. We have some editable text boxes, some images, and even on the very last page we've got the citations and we have these clickable links so that we can visit each of the places where they pulled um, that information from. Now, to get started on putting this in our smart notebook, we need to download it to our computer first. So file and download. When you download, you have lots of different options for downloading the file. The best is the Microsoft PowerPoint for a couple reasons. Reason number one, we're familiar with PowerPoints. Many of us have taught with PowerPoints or maybe still do teach with PowerPoints. So it's very familiar. You can edit these and it works out great. Um, another reason is it really contains a lot of information that's helpful for Smart Notebook when it's importing it into that file. So download as the Microsoft PowerPoint. And you can see here it's downloaded and now we can return to Smart Notebook. Notice I didn't even open up the PowerPoint file. You can, you're welcome to look at it, you're welcome to use it. It's just not a necessary step, so I am not performing that step. File, import, and there's that lesson. Let's go ahead and open that file. This will take you to a dialog box where you now have two different options. Option one is you can import a smart notebook um, with each page as its own image. So what that means, each page is going to look exactly the same as the original. The formattings, the font, all of that is going to be the same, but it's importing it as a whole entire image. That means that text box that was editable before is now just part of the image. It's no longer editable. The second option is import with editable objects. Each piece of the slide is going to be imported separately, and so you can edit it. Sometimes that means that they change the font. Sometimes that means they change the format a little bit, but for the most part, they look pretty good. This is my preferred one, so that's the one I'm going to show you first. I'm going to choose editable objects and click OK, and this will take a second, so I will pause as this uploads. Here it is all uploaded and you're going to see those same beautiful slides that were on the Google slide are now our own individual pages in our notebook software. And they look great. It looks just the same as it did before. We have editable text. I even have a link that I can click on. I won't because when I click here it will go directly to um, that web page. We have our image down here that's part of the group. We have our background image. Notice when I click on this it will show that it's part of this background image. You can see the little lock icon there in the corner. It's locked in place as a background. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, to the original. Again, you'll notice that doing a side-by-side -side comparison, they look pretty good. Looks like the font changed a little bit. It's not identical. It changed a little bit, but the general formatting looks really good. You can compare some different pages. You might be a little bit concerned that this gray extends all the way down, but when you're presenting in full screen, the students are not going to see that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, I do know that there's one page that looks a little bit different. Let's just look at a few more. Yeah, they look pretty good. The very, very last page where the citations were, that's where it looks just a little bit different and you can really see that uh, formatting change. In our original, we can see each of these are clickable links, all part of a text box, but that text box goes um, and is pretty spread out from top to bottom. In this imported version, we can see um, that same text box and it's not quite as spread out, it's a little bit more squished, but all of the information is there, the functionality of these clickable links are all still there, so it still works out great. Um, again, we lose a little bit of formatting, but we gain a lot in that functionality. Let's do the same thing, but I'm going to import it the other way so that you can see the difference. 
this time in my new uh, notebook instance, I will import same exact lesson, but this time I'm going to choose to import them as images. Again, this takes a second, so I'll pause the recording as this uploads. And again, here it is all uh, imported, and you can see again, it looks really great. It looks just like I want it to. Here's the difference. This is no longer a live link. This is no longer a text box that can be edited. This is no longer an image that I can move around. The whole entire thing is its own image, and you can see again when I click on it, it's locked in place there as a background. Maybe um, you prefer that look. Let's take a look at the last one. Maybe you prefer that look because look at the last one. Do you remember how our original was um, a little bit more spread out? Now it's a little bit more spread out. It looks exactly the same as the original, but now they're not clickable links. It's just an image. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Again, with the original Google slide, these two pages look identical, as do all of the other pages. They look exactly the way that they did, um, but we do lose that functionality. We can no longer click on that and make those edits. Uh, let's do a comparison of the two notebook files. Again, this is the one where we imported it piece by piece, object by object, and this is the one where we imported images. You can really see the differences here, right? This one's spread out, but not editable. This one is, formatting is a little bit lost, but we can still click on it and edit it. Um, one last thing that is probably worth pointing out. I want you to notice that on our original Google slide, um, this is a page that is this big. And now when you're looking at this view in Smart Notebook, you might be concerned about all of this extra blank space. It's just because it imported the background as this sort of uh, teal color. But really when you're presenting to your students, they're not going to see all the rest of that background color. So you don't need to worry about what that looks like. It's um, the same thing down or up here. We can see it appears on a different view. If I stretch that out, it appears that there's all that dead space. But when I'm presenting to my students, they're not going to see that. So you don't need to be concerned about that part of it either. Um, that is it on importing a Google slide into a notebook file. I hope that helps and I hope you have lots of success this year and this saves you a bit of time in your preparation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.